Hii hapa nga visit, kuli visit, branch. Atobela atuwa nene. Chiklasi cha fwa wazi cha nene. Akulate? Lelo so? <laughs> so now, the most special last week is Tuesday to find a holiday. So we failed to organize. What we are now? We don't have enough food. So it means all of you guys. I just remembered joy and you. So I was like, I can't proceed with this class because it means the can even do more. May I remember you when? So there was no time to organize for makeup class last week. Yeah, at the same time, actually, at the same time, we are trying good maybe it's better if we can finish earlier. But I don't know how busy you are on Friday. I don't know how busy you are on Friday. I don't know how busy you are on Friday. I don't know how busy you are on Friday. Yes, I don't we are approaching. 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 We which is demonstrated through active political commitment to promote gender equality. Political commitment to promote gender equality. That's one factor that influences or uh, <coughs> makes gender budgeting possible, political will. So to, in order to achieve little progress, gender budgeting must be backed by responsive and accountable gender central government. You get my point? in order to achieve little progress. It means uh, political will, the leaders, political leaders, if they have no interest or they are not committed to do gender budgeting, it cannot be possible to do gender budgeting. Chief Wawaj, as I said, gender budget is that done at a certain level, my special center level. So it requires leaders who actively participate or actively promote uh, <coughs> actively uh, participate in gender budgeting. They promote gender budgeting. So when it's backed up with responsive and accountable government, it's possible to do gender budgeting. Otherwise, even if when you want to enjoy, they may want to do gender budgeting. But will it affect the uh, national budget? No. So political will plays a bigger part so political will can be demonstrated through raising awareness among key uh, actors such as national parliaments, political parties, parliaments. So if you they do they don't they are not aware of this gender budget in Zimango Dusa without any question. So back by national budgets, politi I mean national parliaments, political parties, regional and local assemblies and their consultative bodies. And it can also be evidenced by voicing support for gender responsive budgets in public and adopting a clear guidance for gender budgeting work. Voicing support for gender responsive um, budgets in public and adopting clear political guidance. So if we, uh, no one voices about gender budgeting, it won't be done. We'll just be talking about gender budgeting, gender budgeting, but if it's not uh, supported by political will, we cannot succeed in making a gender budget. And the other point is, uh, enabling factor is high level commitment of public administrative institutions. High level commitment of public administrative institutions. So by issuing clear instructions for implementation and follow up, civil servants are able to contribute to meeting Government's agenda, a government's gender equality commitments, high level commitment by public administrative institutions. So it means uh, civil servants 
are able to contribute to meeting government's gender equality commitments if there are clear instructions and the implementation for follow-up. Because you can plan, you can prepare a gender-sensitive budget, but if there's no follow-up on the implementation part, it can just be there on paper. Mandivet. Yeah, so there's need to issue clear instructions for implementation. How are you going to implement the gender budget? So there's need for clear instructions for implementation and even follow up by civil servants. And the other one, improve the technical capacity of civil servants. Improve the technical capacity, even just to prepare the uh, gender equality budget i don't think it's an easy thing so it needs some people with technical capacity so to implement policy and budget guidance for gender budgeting must be coupled with the public administration's political will and commitment to gender equality to ensure that ambitions and ability are matched improved technical capacity of civil servants their capacity do they have that capacity to implement Gender equality budget. They have. Otherwise, we may need to improve the capacity of the civil servants first, because they'll be the ones who be implementing these uh, gender budgets. And the other enabling factor is the society, civil society, which plays a key role in ensuring that governments are held accountable for meeting national and international gender equality commitments. Civil society. They play a very big role on checking on the government to ensure that this government are uh, um, held accountable, more especially when it comes to meeting international and national gender equality commitments. It's the role of the civil society to check on the government to make sure they are meeting the international and national gender equality commitments. They are committed to meet the international and national gender equality. So it can also play a crucial role in linking government to society and promoting participatory budgetary processes. It also plays a crucial role in linking government to society and promoting participatory budget processes. As we said, participatory budget processes, both especially regional and the local government uh, at, at local and regional government levels. That's where participatory <coughs> uh, budget processes can be done. So the civil society can help in promoting participatory budgetary processes. And the other enabling factor is a sex disaggregated data. Sex disaggregated data. Because if I talk of gender, we are talking about men and women. So to know the issues that you need to incorporate in gender budgetary processes, it means you need statistics, you need information about men and women. You get my point on sex disaggregated data. It means you have data on men and women. So it is also important to collect information on topics such as distribution of unpaid work between men and women. So just as I said in gender analysis, when we look at Harvard analytical framework, that is not only about numbers 50 or 30. We also need to look, collect information on a distribution of unpaid work. For example, if unpaid work is between men and women, 50, we need to know maybe unpaid work, how many are in unpaid work, if it's 50. But you need to check how many men and how many women. Yeah. Because in unpaid work, you may realize only if maybe 45 uh, women, maybe men who are involved in unpaid work are only five. But you need to check. I think it appears that one being in Maybe the next week, this is be available. My eyes are close, whatever.
You can pause. You can pause. Eh? Oh, not easy, Jan. Yeah? Yeah. 